Hey guys, it's Jimmy from CPW here, and today WWE 2K23 released a patch that makes modding impossible on PC, real dick move, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it or avoid it. Right now, let's start off, how do you avoid the patch? First of all, what you wanna do if you haven't gotten the patch already, you wanna right click your WWE 2K in your library, you can do it here and hit properties, or you can also do it here and hit properties. You wanna go to updates, you want to make sure under automatic updates, only update this game when I launch it. And then you want to go to background downloads and never allow background downloads. Close that out. We don't need it anymore. Let's go. So right now I'm in offline mode. It says go online because I'm already offline. But if you're online, you'll see a beautiful go offline button. You want to hit that. All right. Now that I'm offline, I want to start the game before I had the most recent patch and I have uh, reverted to the previous one. And I just wanna show you guys that this is indeed the 1.20 uh, patch, the previous one that allows the modding. And you see it there on my screen, beautiful thing to see. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And now, if you guys have gotten the patch like I did, you wanna go back to where it was before I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's very, very simple. There's only a few commands to input. I'm not going to actually input the commands right now uh, because I've already done it, but I'm going to put them on the screen and in the description to show you exactly what you need to do to make this all work for you. Okay. So first thing you want to do is you want to hit windows R. it's going to bring up your run dialog and inside of that right now, because I've already done it, you're going to see steam colon forward slash forward slash open forward slash console. All right. Now we see this beautiful console. There's nothing in it. What do we put in there? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to put in this box is this command here. This is the download for the depot, which is the previous version of the game so download underscore depot all those numbers you want to hit enter and what it will do is download the game and you'll have a secondary copy on your c drive even if you have your wwe 2k23 on another drive like i do um, it'll go to your c drive and you'll be able to access it from there once it downloads you'll need to find it it'll say exactly where it downloaded on here somewhere and you'll need to find it. For me, it ended up here. It went into this PC, local disk, program files, the x86, Steam, Steam apps, content, go into app, see the depot there, the exact one that we downloaded. And now it's got all of the glorious files for the game, all that kind of thing inside of there, ready for you guys. No big deal. All the stuff that we want, all the stuff we want to use to overwrite the, the the crappy version of the game, for lack of a better term. So what I am going to do is I am just going to open another file explorer. Going to go to my WWE 2K23 directory. And just to show you guys that none of this is, um, you know, bad files or anything like that, just copy it over. There's 144 files with the same name. In the destination i'm just gonna allow that to go through and that is what's going to allow you to have the 1.20 patch for the game after that and i'm going to fast forward through this part in just a second after that what you want to do is you want to start your game in offline mode every single time but there is a trick again once you're in the game you can turn online mode back on and download from CC. I'll show you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, now that has finally completed and we are ready to launch the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to library. I'm going to hit play. We're still in offline mode. 
Just waiting for it to start here. Gonna take a second. Of course, this is a 2K game, so naturally it takes a lot longer than other games to start. And now we are getting started on the game yet again. Beautiful. All right. So now we see we're in offline mode. You must be online and signed into Steam before you can, uh, Steam profile before you can access online features. So now once we're actually started, what we can do because it won't download the update, once the game is playing, we disabled those background updates. We can go online, uh, switch between these tabs a few times. And now we see the online component. We can go into community creations, go into all creations. Hopefully there's no uh, unsavory pictures that pop up because 2K, instead of solving that problem, is keeping us from modding. And that you can see, uh, we have all of the community creations access and also the ability to mod. That concludes my tutorial. If you would like to see what we normally do on this channel, please check out one of our episodes. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I really don't understand why they're treating modders like pirates. It's not the same thing. We want to extend the game. We want to make the game better. We want to just have fun with what we paid for and for them to treat us like we can't do that it's kind of messed up well uh that's all for now guys 2k you know even stronger it hits different how about 